I was in the parish of Holy Cross in St. Boniface, Norwood, Manitoba. I was pastor there when I got a phone call calling me urgently to come to Ottawa, where I learned that uh, Pope John XXIII wanted me to be the Bishop of Victoria, British Columbia. I was advised that I should proceed immediately to Rome. So I went to Rome as quickly as I could and spent a couple of weeks in Rome during the first session of the Council. So I was there as a um, designated elected bishop of a diocese, but not yet ordained. To arrive in St. Peter's, uh, which itself is already an overwhelming uh, Im impression, and to see all the bishops of the world in full vestments assembled. It was almost like the antechamber to heaven to walk in there. I was, in a sense, overawed and uh, deeply moved to feel that I was called to be part of what I could see was an extremely important event in the life of the church. It was my privilege to speak four times during the council, what we call an intervention. And I also submitted over a dozen written documents, suggestions for corrections and considerations on certain points. For instance, the question of the, the, the rebirth of the uh, tradition of the hermits in the Western Church. I had the privilege of presenting a document on that. Vatican II has given us the insights and the orientations that bring hope. And Vatican II has illustrated and reminded us of the fact that ultimately the Holy Spirit is guiding the Church. That the promise of Jesus Christ to be with the Church until the end of time is being fulfilled and continues.